So this is a lodgepole pine, nothing really special about it. It's uh, straight as they all are and hence the name. Um, as I'm bending, I kind of try to bend with the curves. Uh, you can see here that I'm, I'm putting a guy wire on. My, my wire just wasn't strong enough. I was using copper wire and not a heavy enough gauge. Um, so I continually kind of use this guy wire to make this bend and then I end up making this big loop, which I don't totally love. Um, so anyways, um, but yeah, um, I really tried to bend with the natural curves of the tree. Uh, this just allowed me to work with it, and I may have to bend again after I, you know, after this kind of sets, maybe after a year or so. Um, yeah. Uh, the green is uh, pinus contoured, a lot of folia, and then the so that's lodgepole pine, and the red is the shore pine, lattice uh, pinus contorta contorta. Uh, which a lot of people, anyways, there's some confusion around them. Uh, but this is a lodgepole pine that I'm working with here, uh, Pinus contorta, a lot of folia. And so, yeah, you can really see the the big uh, curve there. And it just has no nuance to it. Um, but I just didn't want to have just these little small turns. And so I wasn't quite sure what to do. So, you know, I mean, at the, at the top, you can see it gets a little more, it's easier to bend, and so I can get more unique curving. Uh, my sense is I'll probably chop some of that top off. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure you can see that curve. I'm not sure what to do with that. So uh, that'll be something to work on in, you know, the next iteration. A couple of pines have twisted. So you can see just bit, this is actually stainless steel wire. Uh, it just holds so strong. And here, I don't want to... So, yeah. And these are future designs. I tried not to be too like symmetrical with the, you know, didn't want to get an S curve, um, but you know, maybe a certain angle. I know this is a bit kind of straight, but we'll see as it grows out too. You know, I mean, these are long-term projects. And this one too, it's like, you know, what do I, do I make the front? I mean, it's 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 kind of elegant as it is now. You know, sort of a, the apex going off the back, so that's kind of hard to go. That but maybe something like that. That's too big. So maybe hide that a bit. Something like that. It's just a nice curve, but you know, it's but is it going to be a really elegant tree? Uh, you know, maybe I make an apex here. It'll, branching behind, floating down, and the swooping down branch here. Uh, maybe even tilt the whole thing just a bit. Something like that. Uh, here's two juniper projects. Uh, so this one I had tried to, you know, it's got this beautiful sort of bottom. And, uh, Really, it's, it should be a, you know, like an instant bonsai or something like that. That's what I got it for. And then I kind of thought, well, I should just grow one of these up and, and maybe give it a lot of time and, and you know, 10-year project. But uh, then I was like, no, I think I'm going to, I think I'm actually just going to take off that top and curve it right back in and, and make it much, much smaller uh, for the size. This juniper here. Um, for some reason, I tilted it way over. I don't really, I guess I was trying to get movement. I think I was maybe trying to highlight some of this dead wood. Uh, but the problem with this is all the branches come from right here. There's a, there's a group of, there's a group of four and they're huge. There's nothing on the trunk. So there's absolutely nothing all the way down here. They all come here from here. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to, uh, to create this without these being too, too thick, right? Um, my thought is at some point I trim them and, trying to make some taper in these branches, but they're really thick. So it might need to be that I hide the, the apex, uh, probably turn it up, hide that clump, really make that near the apex, and then pull one of these branches. Uh, maybe some of these small, the smaller ones really nice down. You can see this one's really drooping now. It's just about to drop its leaves. It's got this really nice feel because of that. And then I added 